This lesson continues from the previous one, Animations and Transitions. If you want to follow along with the examples, you'll need a basic app with the router package installed, as well as two components, in the source slash views directory. The home and about pages will each contain a heading with some identifying text. The root app component has router links to the different pages, as well as the router view component to display the views. We've also added some styling to help with the demonstration. And finally, to keep things simple, we've set up the router directly in main.js. We'll do a quick test in the browser where we can switch between the two pages and see their headings. View 3 changes the way we animate the transition between routes. Even though it might work, wrapping a router view with the transition component isn't supported anymore. To demonstrate, let's wrap the router view in our example with a transition component and add some simple animations. If we run the example in the browser and switch between the pages, the animation works. But if we open the console, we'll see a warning that says we should rather use slot props. So, if we want to animate transitions between routes, we have to use vslot and dynamic components. To do this, we change our router view to an open and close tag that wraps around the transition component. Then we add a slot prop object with the component that will be rendered in the router view. Once we have the component reference, we can create a dynamic component and bind the is prop to it to specify that we want to render the router view component. When we run the example in the browser, the animation still works, but the warning is gone from the console. Because of the Fragments API, we're allowed to have multiple root elements in our template block instead of needing a wrapper element. Unfortunately, this doesn't apply to animations because CSS requires a single root to which the transitions can refer to. To demonstrate, let's change our example to have a second root element in the home view. If we run the example in the browser and try to switch to another page, view raises a warning in the console. To fix this, all we have to do is add a wrapper element. If we run the example in the browser, our pages show, and the warning in the console is gone. In the next video, we'll learn how to execute JavaScript code at different stages of our animations for more complex behavior. Thank you for watching, we'll see you in the next one.